So, are you going first? Yeah. Oh, yeah. And then you're going to go ahead and take one? Because you're going to talk about the world. It's actually a film you can read the statutory license. I did. It's right there. <laughs> I was like, oh, I understand what this film is. Yeah, tell us why. See if we can't figure out why. Maybe we need to get out of your way. Good morning. So there are a lot of things in public policy that we I'm decide we don't want to send the folks up yeah. here. <laughs> are you going to take pictures? <laughs> Can I have one? Yeah, okay. I'll take Thank you. 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 Um, I think so. Yeah, I mean, uh, Susan Janey, I'm going to actually have you be behind January. the pillow. Yeah, so I, that yeah. if they take a snapshot of the pillow, we'll see your sign. Speaking on it, something we care a lot about. Right. 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 Yes. Right. Yes. Oh. There's a message. <laughs> are you the pills? Yeah. yeah. You know. Many of them yes, are from our members. Hello, how are you? My what? They did. You're all the pills. These things fell at once. Oh, I know. There's a map. This one cost $374. Uh-oh. Are you okay? Oh, the white one. Those are perfect for me. It's a fishing one. So my kids would take them. Any of these are my sign holder friends. You can tell me where the when the arrangement is. Yeah, that's good. 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 Yeah, that's good
will have impact because there's research that shows that just having bills looking at prescription drug costs bring prescription drug costs down because the pharmaceutical industry reacts to that. And so part of the reason I think for it, for it, that it's important to have this bill out now is we need a conversation this summer and this fall so that the next session this legislature could actually take this issue on. Because quite frankly, health care costs is one of the biggest issues facing the state. It polls as one of the top issues. You would not know it based on the agenda here in Madison at the Capitol. And so that, I think it's very important what Representative Kolsky and uh, Representative uh, Sargent are doing here to bring attention to this issue and then to start to move forward on it. And uh, to be quite frank, at the end of the day, uh, when costs become too expensive, which is what's happening, because it, prescription drugs, the cost, it's, it's essentially exploitation because you're taking an industry that sells vital products to people's health that then charges exorbitant rates for them even when we pay for the research. And so it's something that cannot be allowed that our government, our Democratic government needs to step in to prevent. But it's something we need to move forward on because there's a denial of coverage here. So being priced out of something, a vital medical, care, uh, medical thing, such as a prescription drug, is as much of a denial as care is an outright denial, quite frankly. And so that's what we're facing right now if we don't take this, these kind of steps. So with that, let me turn it over to Representative Kulsti, the author of the bill. So thank you very much, Representative. Thank you, Robert. Thank you, everyone, for being here. Um, if you're listening to this or hear any of this, you're among 80% that think that this is the right thing to do. 80, over 80% 80 of the people think that we have a problem with the price of pharmaceuticals in this country. The purpose of this bill is to just create transparency for both the consumer and the taxpayer. Simply a method to help explain and or justify the cost of drugs, many of which are life saving. The state of Wisconsin currently has rules to regulate utility rates and also insurance rates from price gouging consumers. Although as evidenced by the bill I offered last year, we knew, do need work on um, regulation on um, insurance rates. But there's a reason utilities are regulated, and more importantly, why they can't shut off heat in the winter. Loss of life could result, and that seems untenable to the public, to lose a life because of cost. So it is with drug cost, the loss of life due to affordability is wrong. Drug costs are rising at a much faster pace than wages, inflation, and even the rest of health care. And this is most, happen most often happens with drugs that are life-saving or where there's just one or two drugs that will address the disease. We all know about the notoriety of Valiant, a company who bought other pharmaceutical companies and then priced drugs um, out, of, out of control. Um, such as with Cipine, which treats Wilson's disease. They increased the cost by 3,200%. Or Turing, that took an antiparasitic that was discovered 62 years ago. The research and development should have been written in after 62 years. That price of that drug went up from $13 a pill to over $750 a pill. Or Gilead's. And this was one that affects all Medicaid programs. Harvani and Sovati, which are, have great impact, or which are for hepatitis C, and they have great impact on Medicaid dollars. And they get to do this just because they bought out of other companies or merged. This bill is for consumers to have some scrutiny. We're not alone. There are many other states doing this. In fact, Vermont just passed a bill. We need to find a real solution before the consumers and the taxpayers are left out in the cold. Thank you very much. And now Representative Sargent has a message. So I know that our kids and our grandparents, our hardworking friends and neighbors all across Wisconsin simply deserve better and that we can do better in Wisconsin than what we are currently doing. And I know that for years our health care system has been unfair. It's been unbalanced and it's been full of holes and that we need a better system in Wisconsin. And the Affordable Health Care Act, in fact, has been a huge improvement. It saved lives and it's saving money. But there's more that we can do. There's more that we can do and that we should be doing in order to provide the true security of health care to everyone, the true security of real health to every one of our friends and neighbors across our great state. We need to level the playing field, and that's what this bill does. Simple and straightforward, it levels the playing field. We know that things are not perfect in healthcare. 
We know that we can improve where we are. So why don't we think about how we can move forward? Rather than being afraid to move forward, as so many of my colleagues on the other side, the other side of the aisle seem to be afraid to move forward, let's fix what's wrong. Let's accept the expansion of our health care dollars, and let's add transparency to the cost of medication in the state of Wisconsin, rather than moving backwards, rather than denying coverage. Because we know that there has been huge improvement, not only in Wisconsin, but across our country. We know that more people are covered, and we know that more people are not being discriminated against. And we know that our kids and our grandparents are benefiting, our small businesses are benefiting. But we can't close the door, we're not done. We cannot let folks choose between splitting pills or providing life-saving medication to their family members because we are selling out to big corporate donors. We can be moving forward for our state. This is going to be saving money. It's going to be saving lives. And I am so proud to be standing here with Representative Colstein in this very important initiative. Thank you. Thank you very much. And one thing I've got to say is, is that without trying very hard, our organizing director just asked members who were interested to send a token. And so that's where these uh, prescription drug bottles came from. There are people across the state who are immediately willing to mail us uh, their prescription drug bottles to show their support for taking this important step forward. And if you were to do Representative Colstie's rate review bill on health insurance and this bill, those would be two huge steps forward on building on the Affordable Care Act and moving to the next big issue, which is cost. Well, and, and yeah, the rate review bill was very similar to this. It was talking about transparency, um, having insurance companies tell us why their rates were going up. Um, this, is a, this bill is very similar. Also, what Robert failed to mention is in the, most or all of these bottles, there's a note. I think all of us know people that have been really, truly impacted by the cost of um, uh, pharmaceutical drugs. And um, this just can't continue. It, it's affecting everybody. Um, and it's affecting us as taxpayers. So it's, it's time we take action. Other states are doing it, and it's time we, we do the same thing. How do you propose lowering the cost of, pres of prescription drugs? Well, right now there's the ability, we don't have the ability to, so for Medicare you can't negotiate. So they, it's said it's whatever the market bears. But pharmaceuticals now are setting the market. They can't, Medicare can't negotiate. What we're planning on doing is looking at what is the value of that drug? What is the cost? What is the cost of research and development? And then having the um, insurance commissioner um, try to negotiate a better price. Sometimes just when people, when they know that they're going to be looked at and assessed, that might have a dampening effect on some of the drugs. Actually, it works for, um, it works for some of the huge pharmaceuticals when, you know, like Turing, you know, he's one of the most despised, um, what is it? Shrek Raleigh or whatever his name is. Mm -hmm. One of, you know, just people knowing, having the knowledge of what he was doing, you know, he's now notorious for what he did, and he's had to, had to reverse some of that. So we just need we just need a set of eyes on this. So the premise is set of eyes. Tell us what it really costs. What is the value of the drug, and let's negotiate it. So. Right. So it starts with the information. Right. So you would know what it costs to produce the drug. Right. You would know how much is spent on marketing to consumers and to prescribers and doctors. You would know what is charged in other countries. You would know how much the company put into research versus how much was our money, right? And if you then see a 200% markup on the drug and uh, compared to, to what it should cost, then you find whatever mechanism you can to get the prices down. You could have the insurance commissioner negotiate. You could use the Badger Care program for the state. You could actually begin to use some of the mechanisms of the Affordable Care Act, like the state marketplace or exchange, to be part of that. But the fact is, to get the facts first, find out where the huge markups that are completely un uh, unnecessary are that are actually denying people access to needed drugs, and then move forward with the policy. So the bill would require that the insurance commissioner make recommendations as to what to do based on the information that they're um, uncovering, right, Representative? Correct. Yeah. Are there any other questions? Who are the folks who have joined you up there? These lovely ladies are from different, I, the ones I've met were from different hospitals. Um, and nurses. I think, nurses? Retired, retired sort of, <laughs> never completely. Some, Some of the people patient. that work with us at Citizen Action on healthcare issues, so Social strong at consumer advocates. <laughs> and like I said, from, you know, this is just, high, you know, almost any magazine you pick up. Um, I just was reading Time Magazine this, earlier this week and the main article was um, about the cost of medicines. Like they said, 
Eighty percent of the population could be up here joining us and mm -hmm. saying something needs to be done. Okay, Thank well, you very much. Thank you very Thank much, you. everyone.